Hi, it's Matt Mulvaney from Purchase here. And as you can see from my screen, we're going to build an Apex application. I've already partially built this and it's a claim expense system. So the idea is um, I will go on a trip such as a um, training course or a conference or visit to London. I would add my entries in here, see the Amsterdam conference has got a flight and a taxi. All these are status new. I'm going to submit this for approval and my manager is going to review those expenses and decide to reject or approve those uh, claim items. Now, each one has got a claim ID. So the Amsterdam is claim ID 1, the training is 41, and the London is 21. OK, so we're going to hook up some workflow to the Submit for Approval button. So to do that, I'm going to head over to my workflow definition. Now, Apex creates you a very simple one to start with, a piece of code which doesn't do a great deal. We're going to change this to request approval and it's going to activate a task. Now, the task is one I've prepared earlier called approve employees expense task. Now, I want to pass in the primary key. Remember that claim ID as a parameter. And when my manager reviews it, I want the outcome to go into a version variable called task outcome. Now, I didn't create that. Apex created that by default. Now, that should be sufficient for the manager to reject or approve it. But when they do come back with the outcome, we want to update the database. So we'll use, we will use an invoke API type and we'll call it update status. After that, we just need to pick which API. It, it's a database package, it's package expense. Which procedure in there asks the update the claim status one? Okay, when I pick it, it just says, um, draws my attention to the red, where I just need to pick my variables as parameters. So I've got my claim ID and the outcome of the status I want to update will be my task outcome. So I've got a really simple workflow there. So um, there's two more pages that I need to create. Now these two pages will appear under here. I've only got four pages right now. Uh, there's going to be two more pages. One will be my workflow overview and the second one will be my task page given to my manager to work on those tasks. Okay, so we'll create that first one straight away, which is the workflow console. So here it is. I'm just going to use a wizard to create it and we'll give it a name work workflow console. And when you open up an item, we'll call it workflow item. It seems a reasonable um, name for that page. So this is going to open up page designer with that new page. This is where Apex developers spend most of their time. And by default, the workflow console wants to show you the workflows for all of my Apex applications. I just did a small change there, so it's just this application. Okay, so in the final page will be my task list. We'll just call it my tasks, and we'll use an admin page so we can see a big overview of the, um, the task information. So we'll do that same little change here where we'll change the, um, the limitation so it's just for our uh, application. And I think we're ready to go now. So if I just refresh this page, you can see you've got two more elements that appeared here. Let's um, maybe submit this one for approval, which is the Amsterdam. And while we're at it, let's do the training one as well and submit that for approval. Training one is claim ID 41, by the way. So in the workflow console, if I order by created date, you can see I've got a claim ID 41 and a claim ID 1, which was done in the last few seconds. OK, so for this one, we can open up the console and we can see this one started and it's waiting. So these relate to these, it starts and it's waiting for the request approval. And the same for the other one as well. If I open up this one, it's at the same stage. So, so I should have two tasks now. If I head over to the two tasks in order by created date, these two of them, I have got, I've got complete control of the title here. I can change them. So let's uh, approve this one and maybe let's reject that one. OK, and by now, those background tasks should have updated. If I go to the workflow console, you can see these are two are being completed. So 41, um, that um, has reached the update status and it's ended. Uh, you can see how quick that's done. That's just within a few seconds there. You can see that one was approved for 41. You can see parameters and history and all kinds of information. And for this one, let's open that one up and you can see that one was rejected there. So claim ID was one was rejected and claim ID 41 was approved. 
So if I open up the claim now, we should see that's all been uh, set. Yes, 41 was approved and number one was rejected. So together we've um, added that workflow functionality to our Apex application. Uh, and as you can see, it's nice and easy. It's so quick. Uh, functionality of Apex works great. If you want to find out more about Apex or our services, come visit, visit us at prejudice.com.